Hello, very warm welcome, and in today's video, we're going to cover 10 things I hate about Formula 1. Now, I absolutely love Formula 1, it's like my passion uh, with football, but yeah, I thought for a different video, 10 things I hate about Formula 1, and we're going to jump into it, and yeah, comment down below if you agree, disagree, so yeah, let's jump straight into it. Now, I love Formula 1. We'll always watch the sport, no matter what. But the reality is, let's have a look. So, number one, um, yeah, has to be toxic fans. Uh, we've seen it after the Abu Dhabi chaos. The toxic just can't accept it. Bickering with one another. Max, Lewis fans, F1 fans against each other. We should be coming together. And celebrating what a great sport we have. Uh, yeah. So I would say that would be number one. Jumping into the second one. And we've got DRS. I don't, I've never liked DRS. Um, yeah. For those who don't know DRS. Drag reduction system. Where you can open your win. In a Pacific zone. To gain an advantage. And it's there to promote overtaking. I don't like it. I'm a bit of a historian when it comes to F1. I don't like Kurs, DRS, all this. No, no. DRS, I hate it. It's, again, artificial. Um, a bit like the sprint races. So I would say DRS and sprint races. Not a fan. Uh, yeah, it's nonsense. Jumping into number three. And it is Red Bull team principal, Karen Horner. I cannot stand this guy. He's the worst team principal on the grid. I despise him. It, it, it was a close one between him and Cyril Abitbull. But since Abitbull's left, Karen Horner. Can't stand him. Bitching, moaning. Uh, back in the day, used to rim Sebastian Vettel. Um, used to say Mark Webber and Vettel were on equal terms. What are you talking about? You were so pro Vettel. Um, and now he does it with Max. Yeah, I can't stand the guy. Just can't stand him. Um, yeah, moaning. And I guarantee if it went the other way, he'd have been coming out moaning. Just, yeah. Very bad loser, I would say, Christian Horner. And, yeah, called the FIA incompetent and had to come with his tail between his legs and apologise. Can't stand him. So, yeah, Karen Horner, number three, was that? Uh, yeah, three. Jumping into number four, and it's, oh, I missed this, loud engines, V8s, V12s. When I went to Silverstone, I was lucky enough to have loud engines. For me, that's what Formula 1's about, but we like to go down the environment-friendly kind of route. Formula 1's about loud engines. I mean, you don't get better than a Ferrari screaming. I mean, look at that time Alonso took his old Renault round to Abu Dhabi. And Lewis Hamilton was doing an interview and he was like, oh, I love that sound. And that's what Formula 1 should be about. Jumping into number five, and yep, we've got my good old friend, Michael Mass. <laughs> Post-race penalties, does my head in. Absolutely, this one drives me crazy. Um, yeah, give a penalty during the race, and two hours after the race, we're having post-race penalties. Like, take Hungary, for example. Sebastian Vettel disqualified from the race, like, two hours after. I hate them. And again, I think it makes a mockery of the sport. When you, I mean, Max, for example, couldn't celebrate his world championship till four hours after the event. So, yeah, that's my reason. That is number five. And then we jump in. Everyone's got to be in agreement here. We jump into number six, track limits. A simple... A simple like rule. Keep it, um, yeah, two wheels on the curb all times. Um, yeah, 
track limits. It's simple. People will say stay in between the white line. But for me, it, as long as you got two on the red and white, that's all right. Two wheels on the track, two wheels on the red and white. That's fine for me. But when we see an exceeding limits, we see it every year at America. Paul Ricard, I hate it. And David Croft, the Sky Sports F1 commentator, gets really turned on about talking about track limits. So, yeah, that's number six. Jumping into number seven, and time and time again, on the channel, I've ranted about this. No German Grand Prix. No German Grand Prix. We've got a tie for the most successful driver, who, one of them's German. A recent world champion in Nico Rosberg. A four-time champion on the grid. An uh, up-and-coming possible champion in Mick Schumacher. And there's no German Grand Prix. We'd rather visit uh, circuits that will be on for about five years. Then they'll be scrapped because no population. Staggering that we don't go to Hockenheim in Germany. Jumping into number eight, and yeah, need to get me text out. Uh, street circuits, far too many of them on the F1 calendar. Albert Park, that can be classed as a street circuit. Montreal, Monaco, Baku. Um, arguably could count Russia as one. I'm trying to think of these off the top of my head. Uh, yeah, Baku, Monaco, Russia. Too many street circuits. Miami's coming on. Um, yeah, Saudi Arabia. Far too many. Like half the calendar is street circuits now. It's madness. So yeah, I would definitely put that on my list. And these are 10 things that really annoy me about this great sport. Now I love the sport. But yeah, I thought this would be a good idea. Then jumping in to number 9 and number 10. They come in together. Trolling. These cringy names, as you can see here, Red Bull, the Career Destroyer, McLaren, the Twitch streamers, Ferrari, the Shitbox, Alpine, Alonso, Daddy Stroll. It's like trolling. Um, yeah, and that comes into number 10 as well, like online trolling, the abuse of drivers, the death threats to Nicholas Latifi, calling Max, giving him abuse, etc. So, yeah. These were just 10 things that I dislike about Formula 1. Now, I love Formula 1. We'll always love Formula 1. I thought this would be a fantastic idea. So, yeah, we're just going to run down my list. So, number 1, toxic fans. I would say number 1. Number 2, DRS and sprint races. Number 3, Karen Horner. Number four, the loud engines. They need to come back in this great sport. Number five, post-race penalties. Number six, track limits. Number seven, no German Grand Prix. Number eight, too many street circuits. Number nine and ten, trolling online abuse. So there we have it. There's 10 things I hate about Formula 1. Now, I love Formula 1. We'll always love Formula 1. But I thought, yeah, what are 10 things I hate about Formula 1? And they're 10 things that I hate. Um, yeah. Comment down below your thoughts, what you hate. Now, please tickle a like button on this one because it took me a while to edit this. I never usually ask for likes, but yeah, a like would be appreciated on this one. Took me a while to get this one together. Yeah, technology is definitely something I need to work on. But yeah, you learn as you go on. Thanks for watching. Adios. Comment down below what you hate the most about Formula 1. And I'm guessing I might know what they race me so hard is. Yeah, I think I might know his number one. <laughs>